Hey, for only the third time in my life, I visited somebody else's layout. Let's have a look at Rick's when you come back after the title. <laughs> everybody, Anthony Dodge, Mile Train Outsider, the Maryland Outsider here with a video about um, a visit to Rick's layout at Rick's Trains, and I'll have a link below. As most followers of this channel or Artie's channel would know, Artie spent a few days with us. Artie Zero from Aus America, you know, uh, from down in Australia, came up to the United States and he's been visiting various people and he spent a few days here with Joyce and me. And on Saturday, we accepted an invitation from Rick Rollman and his wife, Lisa, to come up to his house, uh, which is only about a half an hour north of me, uh, and see his O-Gage layout. He runs primarily Lionel. And there's nothing in this video that can show you how cool it really is. I mean, most layouts look better live than on video. and um, But this one really was cool. The trains, obviously, O-Gage is bigger and therefore details that are a little harder to do in HO scale and definitely in N or Z um, can be done. And it shows. And he's got an amazing run through the basement of his house. So Artie, my wife Joyce, and I went up there and spent a couple of hours just watching him run his trains, including uh, the maiden voyage of a new... Union Pacific Big Boy he got, and he actually has three Union Pacific Big Boys, and it was impressive. And the only thing I want to say about these videos is that I did not go there to video his layout and present it in any kind of shape or form. If I were going to video my layout, and why would I, um, I definitely would be working on angles and thinking about it, but it's my layout, my presentation. We were there to visit Rick and see the layout. And some people that go and visit people do a much better job videotaping because I'm not focused on videotaping the layout. I'm focused on looking at it and talking and visiting with the people we're at. But this, all, this is only the third time I've actually ever um, visited somebody else's layout and the first time in the United States. Now, I've been a member of club where there was a club layout and I've gone to shows and seen people's layouts, but... Where I've gone to their house and visited, it's been uh, Alan Wiles at Dragon Junction. It's been Jim at Hover Motion. And now Rick at Rick's Trains. So it's been very rare that I get to go to somebody else's layout and really uh, check it out. So I'm going to just present this video highly unedited. Just, I like it this way when... Um, it's not like, quote, professionally done because to me it always gives more of a sense you're actually there, you know, and stumbling and bumbling and getting into each other's ways and all that. But it was just a fun day to be there with Artie, talk trains, and just hang out. And uh, the nice thing is uh, my wife Joyce and his wife Lisa both are into it as well. They they're, they follow the hobby. They see the hobby. And uh, we just we had a great time there, and it was nice to hang out, and watch Rick's trains. So let's get to the video. Yeah, see, basically my train goes going over there by the wall. But this is where it comes up over here. See, I can play this backwards and make it look like it was going forward. Oh, that one's moving back here. That's when you film instead of watch what you're doing. Don't film while walking through a doorway. <laughs> I was an idiot. Oh, here the 
again. Oh, there's the first half of the big boy. I want to catch the meeting here, the top and bottom meeting. Right behind the church. Those are nice tankers. That one's in Toledo. This day about a month in Toledo. Okay. They caught training with the first responders. They drained for all the hazmat for the railroads. Fucking's choice. <laughs> so you got the one going across. That's cool. You get the one going across here and then the one going underneath in the back. Uh -huh. That's a great run. That's a great shot. See, I could do my live feed. I'd have a camera, maybe even have the camera hanging down like this and catching all that. Oh, here comes another guy through. First responders train. Cool. And here comes a guy the other way. There's the See, I could have done something this crazy and beyond in that house on Bronson. Filming Artie, filming me, filming Artie. That's too cool. That's just an awesome run, Rick. This is an awesome run. This expansion, even more. That is too cool. <laughs> We're catching a maiden voyage. Rick has not run this big boy yet, so he's hooking up and he's going to run it and he's just hoping he doesn't derail it because there will be some violence and mayhem should it happen. <laughs> a lot of cursing. We got Artie oh, yeah. filming. We got everybody watching. No pressure, Rick. <laughs> All right, now I'm my no pressure. Car. Just remember to replace it nowadays is $2,700. No, no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Looking for my transition. Let me get over here. I need to get into this. I want to look in this. I forget where I put it because I don't want to usually run them no more. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'll just take those cars off. All right, so couplers have been set in, boxcar has been added. Engine, engine. Oh, we've got to start them all back up now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Debate over organizational skills and battle of the sexes. But now. Let's go each time. It's goish time. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You can't just do one. Just do one. Well, well, I'm you starting to get it on one. He's got a time on this one. Play nice. Mm -hmm. one. Thing with this, if I don't make sure that those spin, that, that one wall I spin, pull that. So I want to catch this moment, moment from the beginning, the first crawl step. That's a steam whistle. <laughs> Diesels don't make that sound. Yeah. That is a definitive steam whistle. 
The lights are on. And nobody's home. What? Here he goes. We got it. Rick's maiden run, and he's running it. Oh, he's got him going in tandem below. I'll share this video with whomever wants copies of it. Because really, since it's the maiden voyage and you didn't film it, you should post it on your channel first. Cool. Well, it looks like he has made a full circuit. Now let's just hope as he comes back here again, we don't have the same problem. Maybe it's just... Because it was right about here where it's coming out and starts to loop back the other way. All right, got through, yep, okay. So there it was, our visit to Rick's place. Uh, I want to first of all thank Rick and Lisa for inviting us up. And uh, we we'll definitely will come up again. And hopefully they'll come down and visit ours. But uh, also want to thank Artie for coming way out of his way to visit both Dave at, uh, in Cleveland, Dave from Crooked River Railroad, and... Um, Joyce and me. It was just a wonderful time just to hang out and the best thing is talking, just actually talking in person and all that. Um, I didn't film because when I'm visiting with people I'm more focused on talking to the person instead of filming and oh must have picture and a couple of times I think Joyce had to nudge me, why don't you get a selfie here or, you know with the group and that's what we did. So anyhow, until our next video, I'm going to say Avida Zane Chus and happy trains. Take care, everybody.